Hey everyone, welcome to our journey to financial freedom. Have you ever wondered what it feels like to never worry about money again? Well, it's not just a distant dream, it's a real possibility. Let me drop a surprising fact on you. Did you know that about 78% of American workers live paycheck to paycheck? That's huge. And here's another eye-opener. Around 69% have less than $11,000 in savings. But what if I told you that you could break free from this cycle? That's what we're here for. We'll dive into the world of smart money management, where I'll share secrets from top financial books in my own journey. Think of it as your roadmap to escaping the nine to five grind, saving without stress, and investing like a pro, no matter your current salary. I'm talking about turning the tables on the usual money worries. We'll explore how to work less and live more, prioritize what really matters, and make your money work for you. And the best part? It's all in simple, easy to understand language. No jargon, no complicated concepts. So are you game to take that initial leap toward a future where being broke is ancient history? Where financial freedom isn't some far off fantasy, but your everyday life? Let's roll up our sleeves and revolutionize how you approach and manage your money for good. But before hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more awesome content like this. Step one, escape the nine to five workday. Let's talk about escaping the nine to five workday. Ever heard of Tim Ferriss and his book, The Four Hour Work Week? It's a game changer. Tim says, forget the old concept of retirement and saving for the future. Live more and work less. Sounds cool, doesn't it? Tim introduces the idea of mini retirements. Why wait until you're 60 to enjoy life? The trick is to take breaks now, spread throughout your life. Tim didn't just talk the talk, he walked the walk. He embarked on an adventurous journey, traveling the world and managing his business in just four hours a week. Can you imagine the freedom that comes with that? Now, you might wonder, how did he pull it off? Well, the answer lies in automation and delegation, working smarter, not harder. Tim mastered the art of efficiency, like reducing his email checking to once a day, leaving plenty of time for his passions and pursuits. And here's the beauty of it. Tim's philosophy isn't exclusive to entrepreneurs. Even if you're stuck in a nine to five job, there are ways to apply these principles. Think about automating repetitive tasks and outsourcing where possible. By freeing yourself from mundane duties, you can focus on what truly matters and maximize your productivity. But perhaps the most inspiring part of Tim's story is how he road tested these strategies during his comfort challenging travels. Despite being halfway across the globe, Tim managed to run a successful business while immersing himself in tango competitions in Argentina. It's a testament to the power of flexibility and autonomy in shaping our work lives. The four hours per week may be a dream for most of us, but with these systems, we can get as close as possible. So in essence, escaping the nine to five grind isn't about being idle. It's about taking control of your time and priorities. It's about choosing what you work on and when allowing you to lead a more fulfilling and liberated life. Step two, prioritize time over money. Moving on to step two, let's delve into prioritizing time over money. Ever heard of Grant Sabatier and his book, Financial Freedom? Grant says, money only matters if it helps you live a life you love. And he's right. Many of us chase money, but it's time that's truly valuable. Let's flip the script and prioritize time over money. Grant was once down to his last $2.26, but he didn't give up. He saw this as a wake-up call to reassess his life. By 30, he went from broke to millionaire. How? By viewing money as a tool to buy back his time, not just stuff. He emphasizes side hustles. And no, you don't need a ton of money to start. It's about using your skills creatively. Grant himself tried 18 different side hustles. Some failed, sure, but others flourished. It's about experimenting and finding what works for you. And it's not just about making money. Grant also talks about hacking life's expenses, like living in a smaller house or using public transport. These aren't sacrifices. They're strategic choices to prioritize financial freedom. It's about changing our mindset towards money. He stresses the importance of mindfulness and spending. Every dollar spent is time you spent working. Isn't that a powerful perspective shift? All right, let's dive into step three, mastering finances. 
Enter Ramit Sethi and his book, I Will Teach You To Be Rich. No, it's not another get-rich-quick scheme. It's about savvy, practical financial management. Ramit advises, spend generously on the things you love and ruthlessly cut costs on the things you don't. The first priority in his playbook is budgeting. It's not about squeezing every dime. It's about understanding where your money flows. Ramit recommends the 50-30-20 rule, allocating 50% to essentials, 30% to discretionary spending, and 20% to savings. Simple and achievable. Then there's saving. Did you know that if you stash just $5 a day from your mid-20s, you could amass over $100,000 by retirement age? That's the magic of compound interest. Start small, reap big rewards. But here's the real kicker. Automate your finances. Set up automatic transfers for bills, savings, and even investments. It's about putting your financial strategy on cruise control. Use credit cards wisely. Ramit emphasizes leveraging credit cards for rewards and perks, but only if you pay off the balance in full each month. No debt traps here. Lastly, negotiate your salary. Ramit urges us to understand our value and refuse to settle for less. Whether it's securing a higher salary or scoring better deals on expenses, it's about advocating for ourselves and acknowledging our worth. Ultimately, mastering finances is about taking control of your financial destiny. It's about making informed decisions, spending consciously, and investing in your future self. Subscribe to the channel to delve deeper into this topic. We have an amazing video about this coming soon. Step four, building wealth through investing where we'll immerse ourselves in Dave Ramsey's transformative guide, The Total Money Makeover. This blueprint for financial success is a comprehensive approach to reshaping our financial destinies. Ramsey's guide begins by stressing the crucial importance of establishing an emergency fund. This fund serves as a lifeline during unforeseen circumstances, offering a sense of security and stability in times of need. Beyond emergency preparedness, Ramsey advocates for a proactive debt elimination strategy. Using the snowball method, we tackle debts from the smallest to the largest, gaining momentum and confidence with each debt cleared. Equally vital is the concept of frugality. Ramsey sheds light on the substantial savings that can be achieved by cutting back on unnecessary expenses, empowering us to redirect funds toward wealth-building endeavors. At the heart of Ramsey's philosophy lies the power of strategic investing. He extols the virtues of mutual funds and retirement accounts, emphasizing their potential for long-term growth and financial security. Lastly, Ramsey underscores the transformative impact of giving back. By cultivating a spirit of generosity, we not only uplift others, but also experience profound fulfillment and purpose in our own lives. By embracing Ramsey's principles and committing to prudent financial practices, we lay the foundation for a future characterized by prosperity, abundance, and true financial freedom. Step five, simplifying your investment strategy. Let's explore a revolutionary approach to investing that's both simple and highly effective. Inspired by Jim Collins' timeless wisdom in The Simple Path to Wealth and the insightful strategies of The Boglehead's Guide to Investing, we're about to streamline your path to financial success. In this strategy, we're going to embrace the power of low-cost index funds. These funds represent a collection of stocks or bonds that mimic a market index such as the S&P 500 without the hassle of selecting individual stocks. Why opt for index funds, you might wonder? Well, they offer a hands-off investment approach, ideal for both novices and experienced investors alike. By passively tracking the market's performance, you're not attempting to outwit it, but rather capitalizing on its long-term growth potential. It's like investing in some of the most powerful companies on the planet at the same time for a low price. But here's the real game changer. Index funds boast significantly lower fees compared to actively managed funds. This translates to more of your earnings remaining in your pocket, compounding over time to fuel your financial future. So let's simplify your investment strategy. Bid farewell to complexity and embrace the ease and efficiency of index funds. It's time to chart your course to wealth accumulation with confidence and clarity, one index fund at a time. In this step, we'll explore the profound connection between managing our finances and finding true happiness, 
drawing inspiration from Vicki Robin's groundbreaking work in Your Money or Your Life. It's about transforming our approach to money from a source of stress to a wellspring of joy. All right, let's kick things off by getting real about where our money's going. We're talking about keeping tabs on every dime we spend so we can see what's really important to us. It's all about having the power to make savvy choices that match up with what we truly value and want in life. Next up, we're taking a deep dive into our expenses. We're asking ourselves, is this expense bringing me joy? Is it worth it? If not, it's time to ditch it and make room for the stuff that truly lights us up, the experiences that make life feel rich and meaningful. Now, let's talk about investing in experiences over things. We're talking about adventures, travel, and connecting with the people who matter most. These are the things that bring us the most happiness and fulfillment, and we're all about prioritizing them in our lives. And don't even get us started on debt, or we're ready to tackle it head on. By saying goodbye to debt and hello to financial freedom, we're taking a huge step towards living our best lives without any financial stress holding us back. Oh, and we can't forget about our financial freedom tracker. It's like our own personal cheerleader, reminding us how far we've come and keeping us pumped to reach our goals. By embracing mindful money management practices and prioritizing experiences over possessions, we pave the way for a more fulfilling and joyful life. So let's make our money work for us in the best way possible because we're all about living our happiest, most fulfilling lives. Subscribe to join us on this transformative journey towards financial happiness and abundance. Step seven is a real eye-opener, drawing insights from The Millionaire Next Door by Thomas J. Stanley and William D. Danko. Contrary to popular belief, achieving wealth isn't reserved for those with a six-figure income. It's more about prudent saving and wise investing than the size of your paycheck. Did you know that most millionaires are self-made individuals? That's right. They've earned their wealth through hard work, discipline, and smart financial decisions. Frugality is a common trait among these millionaires, but it's not about being cheap. Instead, it's about being mindful of where every dollar goes and prioritizing long-term financial stability over short-term indulgences. Furthermore, many millionaires are entrepreneurs or work in less glamorous professions. They found their niche and excelled in it, rather than chasing high-profile careers for the sake of status. This highlights the importance of passion, perseverance, and leveraging one's strengths to build wealth. In conclusion, wealth is within reach for anyone willing to adopt the habits of these self-made millionaires. It's not about how much you earn, but rather how you manage and grow what you have. The journey towards financial abundance doesn't end here. There's always more to explore and learn. And that concludes our journey to financial freedom. We've explored simple changes in our approach to money that can lead to significant results. But remember, the journey doesn't end here. There's always more to explore and learn. If you found this helpful, be sure to check out our other videos for more tips on saving, investing, earning more, and living the life you've always dreamed of. Don't forget to subscribe to receive updates. Remember, every step you take towards your financial goals brings you closer to the life you've always envisioned. Stay focused, stay determined, and keep striving for the future you deserve. Goodbye and best wishes on your path to success.